Jen DJ here with the Chief Team, and today we're going to be doing a full body workout with cardio in and cardio out. For this workout, we're going to go through 24 resistance training exercises for 45 seconds each, but we're going to start and end with cardio. Our working time for the cardio is 30 seconds. If you like this workout, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's get to work. <laughs> We have about 20 seconds until we get started with our warm up. If you have a fitness tracking watch, be sure to start your workout now. You don't have a watch on here? <laughs> no, like the whole series, you haven't had a watch on. Anyways, <laughs> feet shoulder width apart, dropping down into a squat, coming up. Couple seconds. Here we go. If you want to put your arms out, you can. If you want to kind of hold them close, that's fine too. Weight in the heels, back straight, chest out. There we go. Got boxer shuffles next. For these, we're just popping from one foot to the next right here. Low impact, you can do a double leg, calf raise, or alternating singles here. Alternating toe touch kicks coming up. Go in the mouth. Try to keep the back a little straighter during these. There we go. Alternating lateral lunges coming up. Feet wide, dropping down to one side, coming up, switching sides. You trying to go into the caustic squats over there? I, I see you. I see you. If you want to do those, you can too. Chest openers next. There we go. Slide bending those elbows. Opening up the chest. As you come across, squeeze or stretch out the back. Not squeeze. Squeeze the chest. Stretch out the back. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about. I was thinking about my chest. Arm swings forwards and backwards. Nothing crazy here. We're just trying to warm up the shoulders. We're going to bend over rotations next. Hinging at the hips here. <clears throat> right here. Coming up. Rotate. Back down. Switch sides. Arm circles coming up next. There we go. Arms out. Starting with nice small circles. Moving into larger circles. If you want to reverse it, you can. Honestly, I feel like I prefer reversed. I can't really reverse both at the same time. <laughs> yeah, backstroke it. All right, 20 seconds. We're going into cardio. We got step outs coming up first. We got 30 on, 10 off during this round. So we're just gonna pick a target on the ground. And step out to to the side there. <clears throat> Make sure to use the arms. There we go. Use those arms, heels off the ground. Little impact. You're just tapping right here. No hop. You can still go fast. Come on. You focus on trying to move the arms. The feet will just have to follow. There we go. Oh. We're going to jumping jacks next. Now that our mats are all over the place, <laughs> like a scoot back like four inches there. Feet together, coming up all the way up with the arms here. Low impact, one leg at a time. Do that slide back. Don't forget to breathe. We only have eight cardio exercises, so let's push it. Here 
You gotta run in place. Just jog it out in place. <clears throat> there we go. Oh, impact. You're here. Still trying to go quick. We have to breathe. Let's go. Get that heart rate up. Punch outs. Feet nice and wide. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Hold on. Breathe. Good controlled breath here. Let's go. Come on, keep pushing. 10 seconds. Here we go, full jump rope. Take a jump rope, take down the rope. Here we go. Heels off the ground again. No impact, double leg calf raise or alternating singles. You're doing the calf raise, try to go as quick as you can. If you want with the calf raise too, you're gonna put your hands up in the air. Right here, get that little bit of added movement, keep the heart rate up. Half jacks. Here's our speed move. Arms only coming halfway. Feet together. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> Why do you laugh every time? So fast. Hold on. I have to modify it because. Yeah, you modify it too. Hold on. Heels off the ground. Go tight knees, one foot back, hands up, bring them in together. We'll switch it halfway here. Oh, oh, breathe. Come on, come on. Switch it up. <laughs> I knew, I knew you were going to get, oh, oh, you hit the bar. Come on. There we go. In and out squat hops. We're going to start wide, squat, and then hop on the end. We're squatting first. There we go, drop down, tap, back out. There we go. Low impact, we're going to squat, squat, squat. Squat. There we go. Oh, almost messed that up. Come on. You push in. A little additional leg work there. 30 second break. We got push up your chest press coming up. So if it's dumbbells, you'd be on your back doing a chest press, bands, then goes behind the back. If you can do push-ups, do push-ups. Even if you have to modify as we go, it's a good working time to try to push a bunch of reps out here. So with the bands, I'm gonna push out, come back. Out, come back. There we go. It'll be the same movement with the dumbbell, except you'd be on the ground. Here we go. Don't forget to breathe.
So we got rows left side. We're gonna do is get this nice split stance. Right leg is forward, fans go under the right foot. Right here, palm faces towards the body the entire time. Here we go coming up and down. Up and down. Make sure to brace the lower back with the free hand on the knee. You can also, if you want, drop to the elbow. Seems to work a little bit better with the dumbbells and the bands, unless you really have a good amount of tension on the bands. Up and down. Up and down. There we go. One more. There we go. Switching sides on your bands. Make sure you know where you've had it. So, rose right side coming up. Here we go. So we're just pulling up to wherever it feels natural. It should be somewhere in between like your belly button and waist. For me, it's like right up under my belly button. It's kind of where my hand just wants to go. All the way down, all the way up and squeeze. Okay, I'm gonna drop to the elbow. You can, if you got bands, make sure that you're choking up. So I'll choke up four or five inches if I'm doing it this way. Oh, let's do one more. We're going into hex squats here. So our hex squats, feet shoulder width apart. I'm gonna stand on the bands. Hands are just gonna be by the side. Entire time here. Dropping down, coming up, down, up, chest out, head up, weight in the heels. You should be kind of leaning forward doing that business. We don't want to do that. Make sure you freeze. So, from here, like that, not here. Keeping the back straight, chest out, head up. We need to count us down at five seconds or something. <laughs> Here we go. One more. There's the countdown. One more. There's the countdown. One more. One more. Pike push ups, decline chest press on the dumbbells, incline chest press on the bands. I'm going to demonstrate on the bands and then I'm actually going to do it for uh, pipes. So incline, we're bringing it up to the head. Right here, dumbbells, we're getting that glute bridge position. So we're bringing it up here, not here. We're up here as we press. Pike push-ups, you're going to have your butt in the air for these. I like to get my hands a little bit wider. Keep my chest over the hands. Come up. Down. Up. Yeah. Here we go. We got one more. Famous last words, huh? We got shrugs. Dumbbells, you're just going to hold the dumbbells by your side. Bands, we're going to get our feet nice and wide here. Eat up a bunch of those bands, bring the shoulders up, coming back down. There we go. Good controlled movements, come up, squeeze, back down. Oh yeah. Oh. 
We got RDLs coming up. We have no extended breaks during the resistance training. So if you need to take a little quick break to get some water or something, a little extended break, that's totally fine. Just try to get into the workout as quick as you can. No hinging at the hips. Butt sinks back. Hands stay close to the legs. Chest out. We're going to keep that chest pushed out. Head up as we go down. That way our back doesn't bend, our lower back is not bend. There we go. It's okay if you can't go all the way down like Jen. We're not all superstars. <laughs> oh, we can be. <laughs> Some of us lack of flexibility. Me being one. <laughs> Here we go. High rows, left and right here. So get a lighter weight here. I'm dropping from a 30, 40 pound band to just a 30. Didn't have, what do you have, like eight pound dumbbells? Yeah. So Grace, you're back with the free hand and then what we're doing here is we're pulling up nice and high, keeping the elbow in line with the shoulder. I feel it kind of in the rear delt, back of the shoulder. In between the shoulder blades. Switch it up. Up and down. There we go. We got one more. Reverse lunge, left side. So for these, we're gonna take a big step back, shift our weight backwards, and then we're gonna kind of hinge the hips a little bit more forward, come back up. So band up on that left foot, drop back, hinge forward as we push up, come back. So that little lean right there, we're gonna activate the hamstrings a lot more. So we're taking a big, big step back, Oh. We're just trying to get about as big of a step as we can and actually be able to return back up. Ooh. So it's that little hinge as we push up right here like this. It's putting that hamstring in that little bit of a elongated position. That's what we're looking for. Here we go, switching sides. You need to start coming to the ground? I need a little break. Okay. Oh, I'm sure. I'm back. <laughs> if you were, I was going to drop to the ground. Yeah. All right, big step back, shift weight, drive back forward, hinge at the hips. Oh. Excellent. Here we go. Twenty seconds left. There we go. Right, we got flies. Dumbbells are going to be on the ground, slapping the elbows, coming out. Just like that. Pretty much like chest openings here. Bands, grab a lighter weight, step on it, that goes on the back foot. Same setup, we're gonna arch the back here so we can kind of push up and get in line with the bands. We don't need to come way down here, just like right here. Back up, open the chest, back up. Remember to arch the chest here, because if you're just kind of leaning forward like this, that's just shoulders. So we're going to open the chest so we can get in line with the chest. Oh. 
here we go. Reverse grip row, left side. Yeah. So this time, we're gonna have our palm facing out away, or, yeah, out away from us, elbow stays tucked in. So palm away, elbow in, we're pulling up and back. More of an unnatural motion here, pulling up and back. So you should really feel this, like right here, as we pull up and back. So this would be like more natural. I'm trying to kind of pull down here, activate the lat a little more. So your dumbbells are kind of coming up and back as well. It's not a linear motion here. We go, switch inside. First grip row, right side, coming up. There we go. Right, palm faces away, elbow stays close to the body, pulling up and back. More to the hips is where we're pulling versus the waist. Definitely not to the belly button. Here we go. Ten seconds, come on. One more. Here we go, we're going into deadlifts right here. So same setup as the hex squats, except this time we're going to be hinging forward a little bit more. And our forearms are going to stay out in front of the knees the entire time. I like to have my feet a little closer together on this too. So we're here, back up. Just like as if we were performing a deadlift with a barbell, the barbell cannot pass through our knees. So our hands should not pass through the knees. When we're doing it right here. So we're not coming like this. Out in front, hinging at the hips, keeping our butt higher the entire time. Let's do one more. Here we go. Bicep curls. Palm space out of the way from us the entire time on these. Palms out, coming up, and down. There we go. Good controlled movements here. If you need to alternate, totally fine. You can left and right. If you do decide to alternate, you might also try to go up in resistance just a little bit. If you have bands, dumbbells, it's gonna be a little tougher. Come on. Woo, overhead tricep extensions. You can use one or two dumbbells for those bands. We're gonna drop one side onto the ground, step through, thumb goes through the handle, up and over, other thumb through the handle. Go. Every time you come up, squeeze the triceps. If your bands are rubbing your back or your butt a little too much, you can always step forward. Just make sure that back heel does not come off the ground. 20 seconds. Go. Push it. Let's get one more. 
Ah, here we go. Clean pulls left and right. I'm dropping back down to a 30 pound band. You might want to go even lighter. That's over half half the resistance gone from what I was just using. So dropping down, pulling up to the chest. Back stays straight, hand nice and close to the body the entire time here. There we go. So we can do one more and switch. Switch it up. Come on. 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 So I'm turning my handles sideways, coming up, and then uh, up, and then um, resistance right over here. There we go. I'm going to squeeze back down. If you feel it in your shoulders a little too much, what I like to do is just kind of lean forward, hinge at the hips. Just a little bit. It kind of seems to take that little bit off the shoulders. Oh, so you can focus more on the biceps. One more. There we go. Lion tricep extensions for the dumbbells. Push outs for the bends. Bends, you can do your sitting knee if you want. Behind, hands, face down, thumbs towards you, right here. So, push it out, down. There we go. Come up, squeeze, back down. There we go. With the dumbbells, make sure that your hands or arms are never coming perfectly vertical. Notice how Jen's are always at that angle like this, never here. It's gonna help keep constant tension on biceps, and that's what we're looking for. There we go, alternating close curls. One of my favorites. I'm going to have to start helping you up soon, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, a little bit heavier weight here. Coming across, there we go. With the bands, you can use the same weight you did with bicep curls. Just kind of spread your feet out a little bit more, eat that band up. That's going to increase resistance. <sighs> what is today, Mark, for you in weeks? Somewhere 17 weeks. 17 weeks. Yes. Out of 40? Yes. There we go. Mama's almost halfway. It's a long cook time for that one. Sandra, it's 41 weeks. Oh. That explains why it's so dang big. All right, we're going to drop down on the ground. We got crunches coming up. You do uh, planks? Jen's gonna hit up the planks. Crunches on our backs here, feet pulled in, hands behind the head. Here we go, coming up and up, trying to get the shoulder blades off the ground. There we go. This is feeling a little too easy for you for the crunches. What I want you to do is come up, get the shoulder blades up, and then I want you to hold this for a five count. Make sure to get the shoulder blades up and exhale. 15 seconds. Five seconds left. Here we go. 
will. We're going into reverse crunches now. You just get to point all day. So this time, hands are up under the belt. We're going to keep our head up the entire time and feet out. Right here, bring me the knees up this time. Try to get the hips up off the ground. Here we go. So with crunches, we were kind of working the upper abs. Reverse crunches, we're working the lower abs. It's important when you bring the knees up right here, that you're getting that exhale, and that's where you're getting the hips up. Just like that. We're not using the hands to pick us up like that. 10 seconds. Here we go. We got shoulder press coming up. For bands, I'm going to take a knee if you're a little shorter. You can probably do your standing. I cannot. So, what I do is have the bands in between my legs. Back knee drops down on it. Make sure you have them even. From here, palms out, pressing up and down. Up and down. Those planks. Oh, yeah, burned the shoulders out, huh? Oh. If you need to alternate, that's fine. Just try to keep going. Whatever you got to do, keep going, not give up. It's also fun if you just kind of bring the hands down, shake it out, come back into it. Totally fine. Just keep going. Don't give up in, in the set. Here we go. Lateral raises. Much lighter weight here. So you can step on the, your bands with one or two feet here. Slide bend in the elbows. Coming out and down. Out and down. There we go. If you need to alternate, that's totally fine. When you come out, have the thumb slightly higher than the pinky here. If your shoulder feels good, what you can do is actually kind of tilt your thumbs down and that's actually going to activate the shoulders a little bit more. You just have to be concerned with a little bit of shoulder impingement. So try it out. It feels good. That's fine. There we go. 20 seconds. We're going back into the cardio for our out. This time, we got burpees, we got burpees, we got burpees, and then we got burpees. So, do you know what the exercises? Burpees, burpees, burpees. Burpees, burpees, Here we go. I did give us some counting your reps. That's one, counting your reps. Two, three. I'm counting myself now. There we go. I think I got 11. We got to meet or beat that for the next three. Next three? Next three sets. Meet or beat that number. Woo! Yeah, we didn't discuss this. <laughs> Here we go. Meet or beat the number. Come on. Uh. Woo! Oh. I have to meet it. Same thing. Oh. Here we go. Come on.
Ah. Come on. Oh my goodness. Oh. So let me go. Nope. Come on. I think my body weighs double. I did not mean to be. That's the last time. Ah, further stretch. Left side. Woo! Ah. Relax it too loose. Get yeah, my heart rate here. Come here. Tighten it up. Left leg goes across. Sorry. Breathe. And let us know how many reps you got. Each set, all four. We want to know. I think I did 11. 11, 11, 11, not 11. Switching sides. I got a 10, and then 6 last <laughs> You did 10 each one? I think so. Nice. That got the heart rate up. Everybody's been saying they wanted harder workouts. For the 31 days of fitness. I think we give it to them. Burpees all the way through now. Maybe they just meant longer. Like tougher. Is that what you guys meant? Longer? We're getting longer and tougher? <laughs> See the shoulder stretch. You know what? I think those were hurdler stretches before, and I did pure form us. Not bad. The workout before that we filmed. Was hard to solve right back into it. Or uh, performance. <laughs> Remember to keep the back straight here. Turn the rock. Scoot the butt away. <sighs> Down dog with calf stretch. What I like to do here. Let's get my toes on the end of my mat. The butt up in the air here. There we go. Sink those shoulders. Here we go. Butterfly stretch. Bring the feet in. There we go. Sitting up nice and tall. Trying to actively push the knees down to the ground here. Even if you're not using like your elbows or hands. You still, this is like normal, and I can push him down. Or pull, which I don't need. We go hip flexor, left side. So right knee is up, left knee is down. Squeeze that left glute, push into it. There we go. One minute. Almost 40, 40 minutes, I'm gonna wait, 40 minutes, five seconds. So 40 minutes, 
458 homes. So we're talking about. Who we're talking about right there. Those are the burpees. It's probably low until we got to that. And then my heart rate pushed up to like 165. <laughs> Switching sides here. Good workout today. Ten seconds left on this. Trying to push deeper into the stretch. We got deep squat sit for final one here. Feet shoulder width apart. We drop into a squat and hold it. <laughs> you went to sumo. Try to keep the back a little straighter on this. I don't want to be super hunched over. Nice straight back, chest out. When we come up out of these, go nice and slow. So we can get a head rush. There we go. Nice and easy. Way to go today. Yeah. Good stuff, Mama. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Truly hope you enjoyed the burpees. Don't forget, leave a comment. Let us know how many burpees you got in each round of the four. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. We'll see you on the next one. See you guys. Bye.